what's going on guys welcome back to my after credit scene reaction and i have i'm so thankful to you guys for um for actually um for actually let me know in the comment section that there was an after credit scene i have to blame my community too I have, you got to take some of the blame because usually you guys will let me know if there is something like this because you know I don't really watch the endings and stuff like that. Usually you guys let me know so you guys kind of drop the ball on that too. Um, this is not something that is is said. You get what I'm saying? Like the, the, the episode description don't even tell you that. So you don't really know. So we're going to jump into this reaction, man. Not, not even anybody on the Discord? Nobody? said anything about this and y'all know i reacted this way after the episode drops i mean come on man let's do this again um do this reaction again because um to do the after credits and i'm just gonna upload this to youtube so let's jump into this and see what's going on here in this ending scene see if there's any big reveal you guys say that it's gonna be really surprising there's gonna be bombs dropped okay so let's jump into it let me check something first before i do that um let me check something online really quick then we're going to jump into the reaction hope you guys don't mind okay so yeah because i i started to record before but something was happening um i watched a little bit of it um watch a little bit of it we're gonna go through step by step if there's anything surprising or whatever i don't want to spend too much time on this because i'm uploading it straight to youtube so let's just run it through first and then i'll do a do a step by step after um without the without it being shown on the screen see what happens Wait for me, Grisha. Yeah, that's Eren's dad. Hold on. That's Eren's dad, ain't it? Grisha is Eren's dad. Okay, they're putting on some some armbands. How many times do I have to tell you not to go outside without your armband? Grisha, <laughs> What? What the hell? Why do these people have earships? Why do they have earships? And why is this? This is a younger Grisha. Is this the um? Is this the community outside the walls? Earships, bro. When Grisha was younger. Watch where you're going. What? いくぞ、フェイ。え、飛行船の発着場は近くにあるって先生が言ってたんだ。見に行こう。え、でもお母さんが壁から出たらダメだって。いいんだよ。少しだけなら。すぐに戻ります。おい、待てよ、ブラ
going on here, guys? <laughs> What's going on here? What? Ah, so many damn questions, man. Bro, what is that? I want to say Grisha is probably 12 years old. In that in that scene, he, he he's twelve years old in that. I want to I want to estimate his age as being like twelve years old. There there is a lot of things that were hinted before. Now that I think about it, there's a lot of things that were hinted before about like future kind of technology kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, Armin talking about the beach. I mean, they got an earship, bro. Do you, that's, ad, that, to me, in my opinion, because maybe my theory is wrong right now, because I'm thinking, okay, now that I've watched this, it's extremely surprising. It's a twist, because now you're, now you don't know what to think, because why does it seem like the regular people that we're used to, that is living, um, inside the wall, scare the titans and stuff, why does it seem, right, like they're living in the stone age, well, not exactly stone age, but look at the weapons they use, I mean, look at this picture right here, the type of weapon that Levi is holding, right, the technology, the stuff that they come up with, you get what I'm saying, look at the type of gun that I think that's Historia in the middle right there, holding that that gun, that type of gun right there. Those guns are from way back, man. When I say way back, I'm talking about way back, bro. 1800s maybe. And when you're talking about the technology of an airship, it's the future. It's the future, man. How is Grisha that young? How how is that society so advanced and the ones that we're used to are so backwards? What is that where is that coming from? I I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know what to think right now to be honest. I don't even know what to think right now because now me going through this, me going through this, um, again and looking at it and really taking stock of really what happened, thinking about it. This is nuts. Where's the story going from here? What is being revealed right now? I mean, there were hints of another, of something outside the wall, but we didn't know it was people living beyond the wall. I mean, during the episode, we had the scene where the um the guy was sitting down with Pixis and the guy that you know co controls all the factions and stuff. We had them talking and this guy was there saying um how Erwin told him that there might be civilization be beyond our people living outside of the wall and he never believed them. And you know, there is a possibility right if I should go, if, if I'm gonna go back really quick, see if I can find that scene, because I don't want to miss, I don't want to miss speak here. It sounds stupid. Okay, so he's here talking to the commanders in here, and he said back then. I'm trying to see that photo too, like fully. He said back then, Erwin asked his father, "How do you know for sure there's nobody on the other side of the walls?" Right? The way he put it, since we can't travel far outside the walls ourselves. The way he put it, since we can't travel far outside the walls, I was like, because we never really knew, did we know what his father, what, what was his father's answer? I don't think we knew that.
Did he say it at any point? Because it was always like he asked the question, but we never got to see what the response was. We have no way of knowing whether all the humans out there were really eaten by the Titans. So they really didn't know. Right? So they don't know. But the historical records still state firmly that they were all eaten. But, but I remember this conversation because they were saying they were saying the way how it was worded the way how it was worded was a trick it showed a scene when Erwin was talking to him right but it was like a trick right so he said if those records were written from an objective standpoint they would instead say it is believed that they were all eaten so they're not they're not confirming anything it is believed that simply means that it's a maybe Right? It's a maybe statement. It's it's like, well, I think it happened, but we don't know for sure. It is believed. He said, don't you think that's being pedantic? Erwin says, no. It shows that someone had an ulterior motive. For example, the desire to make us believe that there are no humans surviving outside the wall. So it's like it's like playing a trick on someone's mind. Instead of telling them that you don't really know if it's true or not, you just write believe so it tricks you into actually believing that that's what the statement says. There are no humans surviving outside the wall. As the publisher of the records, the monarchy could have intentionally phrased it that way. That's true because they've been trying to trick these guys for eternity, right? He says, you're overthinking it. Your whole argument is just nitpicking. He said, I laughed him off at the time, but after what we've learned now, you just have to apologize to him when you get the chance. They don't even know that Erwin is pretty much dead. Okay, server corpse has returned one where he has been retaken. Okay, and then we have the, 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 the thing at the end here where the guy says he wants to return home and blah 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 um what is this the truth that grisha was trying to reveal because the monarchy was trying to cover it up is this the truth do they not want them to find out that there's people beyond the wall because that it seems like that's where grisha is from Ain't it? So is the big reveal <sighs> I'm still trying to figure out where these titans come from like how do they fit into this picture? Why are they attacking this these people even though it kind of seems like they're living in the past? Is the world progressing without them? Are they like, are they like a set of people that have just been oppressed? Are they an experiment? What the hell? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Cause right now that earships, that earship F's you up, bro. You're thinking everything you thought you knew has just been blown up into pieces by by that end um after ending scene completely i actually had to go back and look at this thing again i had to go back and look cuz i was like not nah, i did not just watch that i did not just watch that that's crazy what is this
this? Days of Future Past? <laughs> what is going on in the... Bruh, what is going on in Attack on Titan right now? Um, that's nuts. That's crazy. I can't wait to watch so, some of the others' reactions on this. See if they... I mean, I was... This is unbelievable. The storytelling in this anime is on another level. And I love the fact, as I said before, even though I watch this, I'm still saying the, the same thing as I said in, in my review, in the actual reaction that I did, that I put out today. Is that these guys are absolute geniuses because I love the fact that they don't write themselves into corners. Because then your story becomes predictable. This is completely the opposite of that. This story is so unpredictable at this point. Like, forget what you know. <laughs> because there were hints of this society. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the Beast Titan knowing about baseball, that was another thing too. Even though I never mentioned it, I actually was thinking about it. Because I'm like, how the hell do you know about baseball? I ain't never seen nobody in this city playing, playing sports, period. So how does he know about baseball? But I but the thing about it is this, the reason why I never brought it up because I know that Japan is into that stuff deep. When it comes down to baseball, they're into that stuff deep cuz so it just could just be an uh, an additional trait that they just gave the beast and say, "Oh, these are his moves." You know what I'm saying? So that's what I was thinking. But now that that, that this comes up is like, okay, he knows something about a, a quote-unquote modern society. If you want to say that, I could be grasping for straws here, but I really do think that that has something to do with where they came from. It could be that they came from this city too. It could be because, I mean, there was another hint of how does this guy, Zeke, how does he know Grisha? How does he know Aaron's dad? This this deserves a discussion. Just that ending scene, it deserves a discussion, man. I don't know where they're gonna go from here, man. I'm psyched to see it. So, I I'll talk to you guys later. I don't want to run this video up to like so much time. Hope you guys. I'm just putting it straight up on YouTube, man. So hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys for listening as always. It's boy, terabyte reacts and. Peace.